Last time on Cactus Practice, while training for my hike across the Mojave, I struggled my way up a cactus-filled canyon, only to reach a forbidding backbone of rock. Oh, no, what the hell do I have to do here? It looks like, ah, eh, this looks possible. Dangerous. Possible. Uh, maybe not that dangerous. Well, I think it's this way or no way. Nice breeze up here. I have a feeling it's going to get from nice breeze to the frigid soon. Plus, I have a be less cactus along here. Well, this would be painful going down, but based on trip recurrence, I think I should be able to continue. And generally, it seems that because of the way the layers are dipping, it's more cliffy going this way than the other way. No loose rock, very little loose rock. It's excellent traction. There's not nearly as much cactus. These bushes are pretty well rooted too. One thing about being desert plant is you need a pretty robust root system. Oh, there's the Seven L Ranch. A much better view of the Wild Horse Mason now. Ah, I think this route has less explosion than the way. Not happy about the cactus though. You know where the yucca. Rock seems solid. Ow. Okay. Ah, oh, this path will look safe now. Yeah, so I just came up that. Uh, don't worry, it didn't look nearly as bad while I was doing it as it does from up here. Oh, I am out of shape though. Okay, this is nice. I can almost imagine camping up here. Oh. Okay. I think I need a snack. Time to break out the dried fruit. Uh, I'm not really sure I want to work for these cactus, but... Okay, especially if I lose my balance. Do not want to fall over in the little cactus patch. Oh! Oh! Quick, I'm just going to step on them. Definitely reason to have good hiking boots here. And not... Oh, okay. That is not the correct way to mount the GoPro. Note to self. Don't do it that way. Sorry, right, GoPro, you have some needles in you. Sorry. Yeah, this side of the mountain range is generally seems a lot steeper than our side. Oh, and the side we came up. That's pretty gnarly. Hopefully I don't drop the GoPro down anything like that. Oh. Well, it's pretty clear I'm not going to make it as far as I originally hoped down this ridge. At least not today. We'll see what I do tomorrow. More rocky on top, but fewer cactuses. Better view. Better breeze. It's not just the cactus, the trees are actually a little bit obnoxious too. Oh. Especially with the backpack on. You get snagged in your backpack. In an obnoxious way. They're not always your friend when you're backpacking off cross country. That's the next challenging thing. Probably go up one of those slot canyons. Not sure which one yet. I think if we took the upper one, 
on my planned route, but the lower one looks a little easier maybe. Hard to say. Have to look at the map again. I get a little closer. Just because one side looks easier than this side doesn't mean it's easier from the other side. And now we're heading into the darkness. Hopefully I come back out of it before the sun sets. Well, I probably should. Take a water break, take a last look over the uh, in the Kelso Valley. Ah! Oof! Ah, that's why you hard land on my ankle there. You'll be okay, but... Oh. Just to flex a little bit before I keep going. They were now in this nice forested glen, or at least whatever passes for one in the desert here, but you can temporarily sort of pretend we're in a forest in the mountains somewhere and not in the middle of the Mojave Desert. But yeah, so we were, we were last back up on that yeah, I think that ridge way up there. So we've come down across here and now we're headed back up. We're almost to where we can see where we are. Uh, figure out what we're going to do next. Possibly where we're going to end up camping since it's getting later. And of course, we'll also have to figure out now that we we took the lower route. This is not the route I put on my map. This is the next one down. It looks a little bit more friendly. And these, this part is very friendly. And the question is, what happens when we get around the corner? Will it be impassable? We will find out shortly. Well, so I'm still out out there. I have to turn, if I have to turn right and go up this cliff, that's not going to be so great, but if there's a way for me to go around a little bit first and then go up, maybe it won't be so bad. We'll just have to see. See, this rock here is very different. This is not a limestone. Uh, it's hard to show up close with the GoPro, but so you just got chunks and bubbles in it. This is a volcanic rock actually called a rhyolite and it's here because it's intruded. It's pushed its way through the limestones um, when it was a magma. Uh, so this would be something called a dike. We have one rock that's pushed its way through another type of rock. But many types, in many cases dikes weather a little bit more softly than the surrounding material. Ugh. And therefore make a good easy way to walk on because all the surrounding stuff makes a cliff but the dike cuts right across good geology to know if you're a hiker well cross country if you're on a trail usually someone's already figured it out for you they may not even know that's what they were doing if they were following a dike, they probably just saw there was a gap. Hmm. This is why I'm to do more training <sighs> before trying to actually cross the desert, the whole desert. Not just new. <sighs> Couch to 30k or whatever this is. Okay, Woo. Goose boulder. It's always better when those are below you than above you. Oh, it'd most likely be loosened when you step on them, so. <clears throat> I'll do it in your favor. Okay. I just need to go that way. Oh. I don't even know if I have to keep going up, to be honest. Eventually I do. Okay. Oh, the good news is I probably already drank three liters, so I'm probably down below 50 pounds now, at least. I feel a bit of late afternoon sun on the peak up there. 
I do wonder if I'll make it back up into the sun before the sun sets. At this rate, probably not. Okay, so yeah, need to somehow get over there. So I think going up this ridge over here is probably the key. Let's see if I can get back up onto the main ridge before dark. I think before sunset is not happening, looking how quickly those shadows are lengthening. But before dark, I think I could probably do it. Just because along that ridge seems to have some better opportunities for camping, I think. Not to impale myself on the yucca. Almost did. Jeans got it. That's why I don't wear high tech hiking pants. They're usually quite thin and not very cactus proof. And there's a piece of Mylar balloon. All the balloons in Los Angeles come out here to die. Uh, I, should, uh, I should probably pick it up and pack it out with me. Mm, sounds good and lower. Oh, the view makes it worth it. Oh. Nothing quite like long mountain shadows on the desert. Oh. Okay. Well, this looks pretty damn tough. <laughs> the wind is picking up. We're changing directions at any rate. I guess it's the Nighttime winds are coming. Step over this camp and start hurting myself. Ooh. Two in there. Okay. Yeah, it's all successful cactus maneuver. I'm not even sure which way to go from here. Well, I think it's time to stop for a break and a little bit of route planning. Figure out where I'm going now. Nice sunset coming though. Okay, we're coming back up to the ridge finally here. Looks like there might still be a glimmer of sunlight left. Let's see. Once we go to that ridge, the wind is going to be tremendous. It's going to drown out whatever sound I say. <laughs> this is a flat spot. I could camp here almost. Probably a little windy. Ooh, hot damn! better. Huh. Boy, run out of time and light. A little rocky. Hmm. Well, I think I'm cooked. I think I'm going to call it a day. Good morning. I think where I signed off, I was actually in that in that gap over there, but I decided it was too windy, and so I came over here and nestled into this little flat spot below this cliff. Um, I'll show another view maybe after I get out of my sleeping bag, but not quite big enough to put up a tent here, but uh, it is nestled down out of the wind. I don't know if you can hear it on the GoPro audio, but... You can hear the wind blasting over that mountain, and it's been blasting over there all night long. So I'm glad I didn't set up a tent right in that wind stream. Um, oh, I slept pretty well. Exhaustion is the best soporific. Uh, I'll have to get going soon. And in case you're wondering why I'm so bundled up, I looked at my little pack thermometer here. And the temperature is, is about 2 degrees Celsius, or 35 Fahrenheit, so it's it's not literally freezing, but it's, it's modestly cold. I just spotted a ammonite fossil in this cliff here. I don't know where it's going to lose zoom, but uh, that right there, a little ammonite. So this was the Permian-Pennsylvanian bird spring formation, so again, probably about 300 million years old. 
So, so far this morning, I've just come down the slope over there to or go around some boulders. And now it's time to go back up. Initially, I thought that I actually had to go that way. But A, it looks like there's a bit of a cliff there. And B, I realize that's not actually what my map said to do. So, straight up the hill here. Doesn't look too bad. Mostly just a lot of boulder climbing. Boulder dash. Still working our way up here. Getting a little rock here. I decided if I should be down there, or it's not quite as steep. Or I'm gonna have to go up this way anyway, so I might as well be over in this side. Kind of always needs a ladder. No, don't sit on that. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that. I made it to the top. I guess I have another camera on there. Now you can follow this rocky ridge line, which looks possible. Okay. Next, this is like a great place to take a rest. A little bit more out of the wind, a little flat spot. Okay, so now that I've uh, made it up to the top here, I can see where I'm supposed to go next, which is follow this ridge. Now that ridge there that looks like a, a friggin' knife edge, uh, on the topo map, it's like got a little flat spot. Like, it's like you could just walk along the top of it, but there's no way I can do that. Uh, and the contours are real steep on either side. I don't think I can even cross the line down further down this ridge at all. I think I'll continue a little bit further um, because I think there's a saddle over that way. And that point, I can go down this ridge here. Looks like it's not too bad. The uh, contour is a little bit less steep. Uh, I think we're just going to abort the mission because um, that is just insane.